So for purposes of programming the uh, SR Siri readers with the Dormacaba multifamily products and community software, uh, an SR reader kit is typically going to consist of the reader mounted on the outside of the opening. It'll look some variation of this. It might be a flush mount or surface mount. I just have some short wires just for demo purposes. You're also going to have a control panel, which is typically going to reside uh, on the secure side of the door in some type of enclosure as well. And if you look kind of closely here, you'll see that's the actual connection uh, where we do the initial programming of the device. Um, to also program, you're going to need access to your M unit. This would have already been synced with the proper files from the community software. And you also have the proper cable. Uh, this again is the cable. You'll see it matches up with the connection uh, that's in the panel. This is actually the same cable we use our, to program our quantum series locks, if you're familiar with those. And it's plugged into the base of the M unit. Uh, just to kind of also go through the menu options of the M unit. Once you're logged on to the M unit or activated, uh, you'll see you have different menu options to correspond to your uh, screen of the M unit. I'm going to simply click on the arrow for locks because that's where we are. And we want to program. I'm going to scroll down to the correct door, which I have as lobby entrance. You click on enter. Now it's going to ask to select a probe, which basically refers to the cable. Uh, with the different types of locks that we have as a company, there are different types of cables or pieces of hardware or processes to program any given lock. You might use uh, a particular cable for the RT series, for example. Uh, we also use NFC communication with some of our products. But if we go back to the main menu, that smart cable refers to the cable used on the SR readers as well as the quantum locks. So we want to select smart. And you see the instructions say press OK, then insert probe into lock. So you first do want to press the OK option. Then we're going to go down plug into the reader. It's has to tell us it's already been programmed. I want to overwrite it. And the device is programmed. One thing I just want to mention when you when we were programming it, you as you recall, it did ask us to press OK, then plug into the device. That is uh, one step you do need to follow.